Hello, my name is Jim Fanning. I am the uh, internet liaison for the Chicago section of the ASQ. Uh, welcome to our little video tour of uh, ASQ Communities. Um, it's a new site uh, available through ASQ.org and it opened up June 11th, so it's only been uh, up a few days now. And uh, this little video is going to show you how to get in and just a little bit about what's there. So to access ASQ Communities, you have to go through ASQ.org. That's one way. That's the best way to find it. And as most of you probably know, you need to log in to get into some of the features of ASQ.org, like your uh, recertification history, the membership list, and some other features. But you don't need to do that to get to Communities, because Communities has its own little login, and I'll show you that in a minute. So you go up to the main menu and click Communities, and you end up in the Overview page, which tells you a little bit about Communities, what they're about. It's a site where you can share files, share information. There's places to post blogs, participate in discussions. Uh, it's Again, it's very new. It's a complete clean slate we're working with here, and I think it's very exciting because uh, you can be in on the ground floor of what it's going to develop into. So let's try to get into the site. Looking at this, it's a little bit confusing on how to get in. Uh, at least I found it confusing. Uh, I was tempted. I clicked on Communities thinking that would get me in. And when I do, I get to this other page that uh, tells me about what kind of communities are available. And it goes into social media and stuff like that. Well, that's not quite what I was looking for. So maybe it's over here where I have to sign in. And without demonstrating, that's not it either. Uh, what that does is logs you into ASQ.org so you can get your member benefits, you know, the monthly uh, electronic file packages about quality and stuff like that. Again, we're trying to get into the new communities, so let's figure that out. Maybe it's get started. So we click there, and you know what? I'm not seeing. Ah, there it is. Log in. So if you're new, you either have to register or log in. It doesn't matter. It's going to take you to the same place. So let's click on Login, and here's where you end up. This is how you get into the new ASQ communities. If you look up here, here's the address or URL of the page. It's kind of cryptic. Uh, what you can do is save it as a favorite. And when you do, it saves with the name Exclusive Contact content and downloads from ASQ. So I guess that's uh, kind of their tagline as to what this site is about. Okay, so if you had to say it in a few words as possible, uh, what is ASQ Communities about? It's exclusive content and downloads from ASQ. So let's cancel that because I already saved mine up here. Once you log into ASQ Communities, uh, it will save your information if your browser is set up to do so. So it makes it a little bit easier to log in, but you will have to log in each time. It's not like ASQ.org where if you store your passwords that you don't need to log in, it automatically recognizes you. Uh, this login for ASQ Communities is not like that. You'll have to log in each time. And here we are. Here's the new ASQ Communities page. Uh, this is my page because uh, these community pages are tailored the way you want to uh, have it presented to you. Uh, you can see now there's a uh, feature where you can uh, do your own profile, a shortcut to the communities that interest you, and if you choose to do so, you can log out. So I'm going to just go briefly through each one of the main menus and uh, discuss some of the highlighted uh, sub-menus that might be of interest to get everybody started. Uh, this is a very new site. Um, I certainly am no expert. Uh, I'm only going to share what I happen to find out while poking around in the last few days. Uh, this uh, video is just to get you interested enough to want to log in and check it out for yourself. So. Under the home page, it just brings you right back to where we're at, and you'll see that there's some predefined content that's available, who the most active members are in the communities in general, some of the latest discussions. Uh, we can do some popular wiki style searches, uh, popular searches that have been going on within the communities. Uh, there's also a feature here where 
uh, you can view and post your own blog if you wish. And we'll find out about that in a second. So there's a lot of content on the uh, top page, which is kind of predefined within the community's um, group. Under my profile, you'll find your standard profile changes, uh, some things of interest. If you go into my profile and look at your profile, you'll see that there's a link to LinkedIn. And I found this interesting that the new ASQ community designers uh, saw it important enough to uh, be able to link into LinkedIn so you could bring in your profile like a lot of sites can do nowadays and that they took the time to develop that, uh, those routines and that programming and the code to do that. So uh, I've always been a big fan of LinkedIn. If you're not already on LinkedIn, I encourage you to check it out. It's uh, LinkedIn.com and what it is, it's kind of like the Facebook for professionals without all of the uh, uh, fluff. Uh, it's pretty much uh, professional resumes. It does give you the opportunity to uh, network with other professionals. Uh, join groups and what have you, follow companies, much like uh, we're about to see here in the AHQ communities. Uh, another thing I found interesting is that you can set all of your um, subscriptions and your privacy settings as to what you want to get in terms of email and communication and from which groups you want to uh, receive their newsletters and such. So if you're the kind of guy that doesn't like to get a lot of email in your inbox, you know, you just end up deleting it, then you might want to turn some of these off. Uh, here you can look at the documents that you've chosen to share with uh, certain communities, and that's towards the end of this uh, video. We'll talk about participate. you see up at the top there. Under communities, you'll be able to view communities, select communities that you wish to join or follow. Here's some of the few ones that I joined in the last few days. And look at this one. ASQ Chicago is our community, and it's newly created. And you can see that there's one member, me. And hopefully this will grow. You know, Facebook wasn't built in a day, and this is all uh, very new. And again, I think it's very exciting. So we can go in here and look at uh, directory, which is another top-level menu option. I found this interesting that you can go in here and if you know an ASQ member's name, you just type it in here. And I'll demonstrate. And boom, uh, you can get into that member's ASQ profile within the community. So it's it's pretty cool. Here's where you can do the blogs. You can view the blogs that are up there. Right now, this apparently is uh, kind of a conglomerate of all the current active blogs that are going on. Uh, that, you know, is, is interesting, but if you want to kind of filter that down, you can filter that down to just blogs from your contacts. Uh, right now, I don't have any contacts, so just, again, just starting out here. Or you can create your own blog, and you go to my blog, and you create a new blog entry, and uh, that's pretty interesting, and I'm going to keep watching that and see that develop, and, you know, it might be worth to join in to the discussion on that. And then the last top menu uh, option is participate, and here's where you can share a file, create a blog again, or ask a question to the general uh, community group. Uh, what I found interesting is share a file. Let's click on that one. Here you can choose to share a file. And like a Word doc file or something like that, with a chosen library. And you can enter a title that you want to be uh, shown to the user and a description of the file. And then here's what's really interesting is when you select the library, you can post it to any of the community groups that exist. And this apparently is the list to date. Uh, as the ASQ communities grow, I don't know if there's going to be some way to manage this. I imagine the list is going to get pretty unwieldy. But right now, this is the apparently the full list because I just created this group, or this community, rather, uh, ASQ Chicago uh, 1201. That's us. So it's already on the list. So I'm assuming that, that every new group that gets created going forward is going to be added to that pull-down menu. Uh, then also you have to select what kind of uh, library entry it is. 
if it's a copyrighted uh, or licensed file, just a hyperlink, a standard file upload, and so on. And uh, I think this is a good opportunity to share articles. Uh, there's a couple that I plan on sharing very soon here uh, uh, about the history of ASQ that have existed uh, within our section's archives for, for many years. And uh, I think a lot of uh, members will find that kind of stuff interesting. But anyway, that's an overview of ASQ communities. I hope uh, you've seen enough here that entices you to want to go in here, log in, join the discussion, maybe start a group or start a blog. Uh, I encourage you all uh, to join ASQ Chicago, uh, 1201's uh, community, and uh, stay in contact with us for sharing and collaboration. And uh, thank you for watching. And have a great day.